All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to show you what I can only describe as console level graphics quality coming from the S24 Ultra in Dex mode playing Fortnite. Now, just a big warning here this video is really only going to be for geeky types, you know, people who are really into like mobile gaming, and especially those who want to like do mobile gaming on external monitors. So, basically, using your phone and whatnot, you know, for external monitors monitor use with like controllers and stuff so right now what i've got is my samsung s24 ultra plugged into a samsung deck station i've then got a keyboard and mouse plugged into that i've also got hdmi coming out which is going into my atomos ninja v um, i've got the ps5 controller and i've got ethernet connected and stuff like that now for anybody interested in that type of setup i will do a detailed video soon about this particular game and setup and other options for getting your video signal outside of your like s24 like you know to a monitor and tv okay so what i'm going to do is just flip down on this screen here now as we can see there's the shortcut to decks so just going to launch into decks here now this particular video like i say it's just going to be a lot of talking initially because i have to explain exactly what's going on here because some of it is probably things that people have never seen coming out of a phone before even those who are used to using samsung high-end phones so right now i'm in dex mode and what i'm doing here is like running an extra plugin which gives me 4k 60. now if anybody's interested in that i will do a video about that shortly but as you can see here the icons are all small and all the text is small in fact all the stuff down here on my taskbar is small these can all be changed these can all like you know be like scaled up and look like you know a bit bigger and things like that I just haven't done it because I've only just switched all my stuff over for this particular phone from the S23 Ultra. Okay, so that's the basics of what's going on there. Now, if I go into settings, and if I go into the deck settings here, as we will see, the resolution is on 4K UHD, so definitely this is 4K, and I'm running at 60 frames per second. In fact, if I just scroll the mouse around there, you will see that's definitely 60 okay now if i come out here again i can't really stop too much here because i need to get into the game and show the graphics and what's going on however just whilst i'm on this menu for anybody switching onto a dex unit or anything that's usb c output and stuff which can carry the video signal what you need to do come to the the, the dex uh, menu here like i have done and then scroll down until you get to this thing that says set default audio output now when that is switched on there it does exactly what it says here play sounds through the connected tv or monitor by default when samsung decks starts so essentially it does exactly what it's saying your audio will go down the hdmi cable and then come out of the tv or the monitor that it's plugged into and obviously if you've, if you've got headphones like coming off your tv or your monitor then that's where you'll get your audio from i just thought i would mention that while i was there because it shouldn't slow the video down too much because i will talk a lot also i've got this thing here called game plugins now this thing here is another add-on thing as well and this apparently is you know allows you to increase resolution and frame rates within games now i'm only testing this at the moment so i can't say for sure whether or not that does give you any advantages over the normal settings of like you know performance mode within the game and hub thing and stuff now once i've worked out if this thing does make a difference i'll definitely do a video about that you know because anything that's going to help us improve our graphics performance you know on mobile is going to be a good thing if it does work okay so i think i've explained enough here just so you got the background of what's going on so what i'm going to do here is go into the gaming hub and as we can see there's fortnite there so i'm going to launch it but when i launch it it's going to look tiny on the screen there we go now what we do here we go like you know full screen then it's going to ask us to restart so there we go full screen restart and now it's going to restart in full screen now immediately look at this look at that text rendering there now i know that's only text but that text rendering i believe that is in 4k it's absolutely ridiculous now once they start getting into like the home screen and stuff we're gonna start seeing some like really impressive rendering with the assets on the menu system as well and this is even before we get into the gameplay so there we go so that's the like the base menu there and as we can see on the home screen and as you can see all of those assets except for maybe the the, the, the sub menu at the top 
all these things here just look absolutely fantastic you know if i just kind of get onto my controller now and i appreciate these are only thumbnails and text and stuff but these things never even scale up to these types of resolutions you know on like you know normal phone screens and stuff so as we can see here there's actually like a ton of high resolution assets going on there now what i'm going to do is just jump over onto the settings so if he gives a moment now i'm just going to go onto the picture settings here and explain what i'm doing so it says 60 fps there now that's because although fortnite can go higher than 60 and um, because i'm plugged into like you know over hdmi it will just max out at 60. now if i come down here i've got quality preset set to epic and 3d resolution set to 100 percent now when i first get into the game the frame rate is not going to be 60 it's going to tank all over the place but i'm going to show you this setting here initially just so you can see how insanely high resolution the base graphics are in this particular setup now once i've shown you some stuff in this set and what i'm going to do is then change the 3d resolution down to something like 60 and between 60 to 65 possibly up to 70 depending upon where we are on the map uh, that's going to allow us to maintain 60 uh, fps which is unbelievable anyway texture quality is on high i've also got the pre-rendered cosmetics thing there which is going to like you know like take in like higher resolution uh, assets and stuff I, that must have something to do with the things that you're going to see here because it will look insane honestly and then if we come down here i've got show fps on obviously so we can see what's going on and then down here these two options are nothing to do with them um, like render resolutions and stuff like that okay so let me just come out of there now i'm just going to jump into zero build here now once again let me just reiterate the point i am not a fortnite player i just love playing the game it's one of the most funnest games i think there is it's just great when you've like you know you just want to blow off steam it's a nice game to play and um, but i am most certainly not a player so like i say my terminology and stuff and whatever i do it's just gonna sound all wrong to anyone out there who is a fortnite player so just get past that bit and just absorb what you're about to see as far as the actual graphics are concerned because honestly it's truly insane i'm trying to do all this in one take as well and um, just so you can see exactly what's going on i don't really want to speed through that many things here again just so you can see exactly what's going on and you know you know that you know this is all being done in one take anyway look at this now <laughs> right right now we're going to see 60 fps but that will tank in a minute but just look at the resolution of these graphics here that just looks amazing now if i go running around we'll see the uh, well actually the frame rate hasn't tanked yet what's going on oh it's tanked now okay so there we go so i'm gonna just stand around look at stuff here look at that you know those trees there just look at the resolution on them and if i move around as well we will see that like there's very few alias and artifacts going on and the reason for that is is because we're starting off at 4k so these some of these assets and like textures they must either be very close to 4k or they are 4k and that would be the reason why we're not seeing like a ton of like you know aliasing issues now i appreciate you know a lot of this is being upscaled internally but nonetheless you know it looks fantastic now just quickly look at this with the bus again you know this does not look like it's coming out of a phone it's mental and if i look down at the floor there the frame rate's gonna tank and the reason why is because there's far too much in the field of view to render as it you know if we come up there like that there's hardly anything in the field of view so the frame rate goes right up and stays stable but as soon as it come down here it's gonna start tanking because of all the assets it's got to render within the field of view let me just jump out the bus here fact let me get me glider thing out now once again i'll just show you here if i just look ahead of the ahead of me there onto the horizon and just move slowly that's gonna be mega smooth or buttery smooth and the reason why once again is because there's not that much in the field of view to render and if it goes spinning around and stuff you'll see look at this that's crazy now if i start looking down that's when the the frame rate will start dropping and tanking as we can see there however the reason why i'm just showing you it 
at this particular set and even though the frame rate isn't particularly good is just to show you how good the actual rendering looks and the resolution now I do appreciate once again that you know this is not going to beat a ps5 or something or you know a proper game and pc you know but just remember this is 4k 60 output coming from a phone this is a you know a mobile phone doing this it's absolutely mental and uh, now the other thing as well that i can definitely say is that i've built like you know cheap gaming pcs which don't look as good as this so you really are gonna have to push yourself towards like a ps5 and above or like an xbox series x in order to get this type of quality and i can tell you right now this is better than something like easily better than something like a ps4 or older xboxes and whatnot so like i say very impressive so what I'm going to do anyway, just whilst it's at this highest uh, 3D resolution, I'm just going to try and get onto the ground here, give you an idea again of what some of the assets and what some of the rendering looks like. And then what I will do, I'll change that 3D resolution to go lower so I can maintain 60 FPS. And then I will also change over to 1080 and we can see what that looks like. But just look at that there now. Again, resolution is not, you know, it's not ideal. Uh, but just look that just looks fantastic you know the, the actual quality here is just it's it's just way beyond you know what you should be expecting from a mobile phone i mean there are issues there with those stairs and we've just seen some of those bushes uh, loading out and stuff so a lot of these things you know that there is an alias an issue with those steps and stuff and things like you know you know, assets in the distance you know loading out that that's just like you know like you know load out issues to do with like you know the power of the phone and stuff also as we will have noticed when i was like you know up in the air there would have still been assets rendering you know on the ground now the thing is depending upon what phones you're on maybe that happens faster than you know on some phones than others uh, or, or even like tablets and stuff you know basically the faster your storage is and also the more powerful your processing is things like you know your loadouts are going to happen quicker as well as far as like you know loadouts for terrain and assets are concerned anyway as, as i'm saying you know this is not ideal because of the frame rate but you know i challenge anybody to say that this does not look awesome you know and it looks maybe doubly awesome when you consider what it's coming from which is obviously just a smartphone okay so i think we may have seen enough here and maybe i've explained enough for us to understand what's going on and just to get an idea of the absolute maximum quality although we don't get the frame rate that we would like so what i'm going to do here is go back to the settings okay now <clears throat> now what i'm going to do is change the graphic setting of 3d resolution down to 60 percent you can probably go between 60 to 70 depending upon whereabouts on the map you are and stuff it all just depends on like you know how much it you know needs rendering at any one time so i'm on to 60 here now i could actually drop the quality preset you know further down from epic but if i do that i would still have to boost the 3d resolution to kind of be getting back oh actually i think i'm being hit here gives a sec hold on oh right let me restart this <laughs> okay so i obviously just got killed there whilst i was in the settings so i'm just going to restart so what i'm going to do first of all is show you what the settings are that i've now got it set to so it's exactly the same as it was so all those settings are the same except for 3d resolution is now down to 60 so that should help us to maintain 60 frames per second for the best part it was within 4k 60 here and obviously still within epic as well so let me just come back here so i need to get into a game in fact what i'll do i'll just speed through this until i get onto spawn island okay so i'm on spawn island here now immediately this still will look good although we might notice a certain kind of like drop off with aliasing and then also ultimately the absolute kind of like you know fine details might have dropped a little bit but like i say for the best part 
that's going to still look really good now also for the best part this will be at 60 it's probably still loading stuff right now so the frame rate might kind of bounce about a bit now if we have a look at that roof in front of us over there it probably isn't quite as detailed as what it would have been before and we can see some aliasing going on on the corners and edges and stuff on the building which obviously weren't there before but nonetheless it still does look good now once again whilst i'm up here Let's have a quick look at the bus. We can see some aliasing going on there with some of those lines on the bus. Again, because we've dropped the 3D resolution down and stuff, but it still does look really good. And it still definitely is having assets upscale to 4K, at least maybe some of them still might be 4K. Um, and then when I come down to the horizon line there, again, you know, look how smooth that is. That it, it's just insane that this is coming out of a, a mobile phone plugged into you know a monitor and let me just dive out here once again as i'm coming down and um, it's going to take a while for things to populate and we can start seeing assets and terrain you know coming into view and then just building in the background and stuff now the thing is while stuff like that is going on we can still have frame rate issues i want the point of frame rate as well the the phone will heat up quite a bit here and unfortunately right now i don't have any cooling solutions on the phone and um, so yeah we, we might start seeing a little bit of weirdness with the frame rate only because you know the phone's heating up and although we have dropped down to 60 percent on the 3d resolution we are still massively pushing the processor on the phone to be doing what i'm doing here so what I'm going to do is try and get down here as fast as I can, give ourselves another little look at stuff. In fact, if I come over here, we see the steps there in front of me, we can see some alias and issues going on there, which would have been a lot less before. Also, things like these tiles. Once we're close up to them, they're going to be a particular resolution anyway. But as I'm, you know, as I say, the the basic like resolution and textures are still looking good although they would have been dropped off a little bit but nonetheless even at 60 percent for the 3d resolution this definitely does look really cool i've got to be careful here not to get killed again really quickly what it is i've not got my headphones on at the moment so i can't hear things so yeah that's my excuse anyway <laughs> okay so again i'm running around here and you know as we can see with on the best part maintaining 60 you know for the frame rate if we get up here and just start doing some quick movements as we can see that is like you know super smooth and i don't think actually i don't think the frame rates dropped yet um let's see yeah no that still looks good so i'll just bounce around a little bit more here there's some oh no that's a it's not a that's not a real player what am i doing okay now is this a real player firing at me there let me in fact let me just see if i can just shoot another thing there that's not a real player like like i say i'm not, I'm not actually a fortnite player and i don't particularly want to get into any battles with someone who's good because the only thing that's going to do is force me to restart things again but again as i'm saying you know just look at you know the ridiculous quality here now we have kind of tanked a little bit more with the frame rate again a lot of this will be because the phone might be throttling now because i don't have me cooling solutions on it and stuff but again you know it's just a thing to let people see exactly what's going on here now i think think you know maybe this has been enough for people to see exactly what the quality is now like with all this 4k and stuff so what i'm going to do i'm just going to reset um me resolutions on the phone itself for its desktop and stuff and then what i'll do i'll jump back into the game in 1080 maxed out and give people an idea of that and the reason why is because a lot of people may not want to play in 4k anyway and they may not even have the right interfaces to play with 4k from their s24 ultra and don't forget you can also do this with any samsung phone that is dex compatible uh, although the s24 ultra will be the best you know looking one or it'll have the best processing and stuff but any any samsung 
Samsung phone that's got DeX on it can do this. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just uh, dive off and I'll reset some stuff and then I'll come back in at 1080. Okay, so I've now switched my DeX settings to 1080. I'll just quickly show you that. So I'll go to settings, come into DeX, look at the screen size here. As we can see, FHD, Full HD, 1920, 1080. Of course, it's still 60 FPS. So let me just come out of there and I'll just dive straight back into the game here. Give us a moment, go full screen, restart, and then into the game. Now, at this point as well, if you're only watching back in 1080, yes, you will have seen a slight difference, obviously, when it's 4K scaled down to 1080, but for those people who play in 1080 and monitor in 1080, this is obviously going to give you a really good idea of what what's achievable with that. And basically, you know, it is one of the main resolutions that people play at anyway. I appreciate 4K 60 is really pushing stuff, and a lot of people don't even do that anyway. But it was just weird showing all what was going on there. So what I'm going to do now is just show you the settings because I think I've gonna ha I'm gonna have to reset. Yes. So I need to put um, let's see 3D resolution back on 100% here. Hold on. Oh, what's going on? Right. Hold on. So 3D resolution is now back to 100%. I'm still on Epic, high textures, high streaming and all that stuff. So everything exactly the same, although I'm on full now and I am in 1080. So let me just set that. I've also got a green border coming around the screen there. I don't know if I noticed that before. Don't know what that's about. Anywho, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to dive into the game. Um, I'll fast forward through actually onto Spawn Island. I'll just do a little bit on Spawn Island, but I'll stop talking now because we kind of know what it is that we're trying to look for here. Um, so I'll just kind of go through this for as long as I can. I'll try and do a little bit of battling, although I'm terrible at it. But we'll see how far I get, and this will give you a good idea of what these settings are now like for 1080 gameplay. And of course, the phone has already heated up now. Hopefully, it is not going to dis disturb things too much anymore. Anyway, okay, let me just jump onto Spawn Island.
Okay, so I finally come across a player who was real who's just killed me. Oh dear. Right, what it is, I'm going to be doing more videos to do with the S24 Ultra. So if you're interested in things to do with like physical connection type things, like how to plug it into a TV or a monitor and such, and then also certain things to do with desktop setups, then definitely keep an eye on the channel. I'll also be doing stuff to do with like other bits of gameplay and things, but it's mostly to do with the technologies as opposed to the actual gameplay itself. Now, if you are interested in some of the gameplay stuff that I do, visit my other channel channel which is www.thegamething.com but nonetheless i will be doing more stuff anyway to do with the s24 ultra anywho if you've liked the video or found it useful in any way then please do give it a thumbs up if you super like the video then a sub to the channel would be absolutely fantastic and as ever there will be links to stuff that i've used in my videos in the description below i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now